So, hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find the whole of GCSE Maths Explained on video for free and find some amazing revision guides on there as well. So this video is about trial and error, which is just another way of saying guessing. Okay, We're going to get to the answer by trial and error or just by guessing different values of x uh, for a certain equation. For example, you might be told to solve this equation x cubed plus x equals 52 and you're allowed to use a calculator by the way for these questions and so what you do is you start by guessing oh maybe the uh, value of x is 3 so I put 3 cubed plus 3 which is 30 so 30 is lower than 52 so let's try to guess something higher so I guess 4 x equals 4 so 4 cubed plus 4 is 68 oh that's a bit too high isn't it that's higher than 52 okay so obviously the value of x we're looking for is somewhere between 3 and 4 because 3 gives you an answer too low and 4 gives you an answer that's too high so let's say I guess 3.6 Okay. Now, ordinarily, I probably would have guessed 3.5, which is halfway. Um, but because I want to get to the answer quickly in this video, I'm just going to go for 3.6. So 3.6, uh, I happen to know, is uh, pretty close. Um, so 3.6 cubed plus 3.6 equals 50.256. And 3.7, if I stick it in for x, I get 3.7 cubed plus 3.7 is 54.353. And as you can see, this answer is slightly closer uh, than this answer is to 52. So basically, uh, 3.6 is the closest value to x which will give you the right answer. So 3.6 is the correct answer to one decimal place. And notice, I have to keep guessing until I get one answer above and one answer below, and both answers should be one decimal place. Yeah. So you want the closest answer below and the closest answer above, and then you have to choose out of those two answers. And obviously this is slightly closer to this in producing an answer near to 52, and that's it. That's the whole technique. Obviously you can have different equations, okay and then you have to try different numbers and often they tend to make it even easier not only do they keep it as simple as just making it correct to one decimal place okay you can they also tell you what numbers uh, the answer lies between so for example they say oh it lies between three and four or whatever two numbers they give you okay so they do make this kind of question pretty easy and um, that's all there is to say about that